YouTube. What's good? It's your boy Poetic, and this is my first vlog. And of course, it's gonna be about basketball. And I'm gonna tell y'all about my love for the game and how it started. And excuse my video for quality. I'm using my iPhone, so don't be a hater. So, my love for the game had to start when I graduated high school. I was a huge guy. 300 some pounds. I ain't know how to play basketball. I couldn't run. I couldn't shoot. I couldn't do nothing. But I made it my mission that I wanted to be a basketball player. So, I'm going to start with the beginning. Middle school, couldn't play uh, football or basketball. Well, I mean, I played football, but I couldn't play basketball. I didn't know how to play basketball, I didn't care about basketball. So football, I was pretty good. I was a nose guard, and I was about to be a, a, a tight end. Took my physical, I had a heart murmur, and my dad didn't want me to play. So I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt or whatever, you know, my feelings are hurt. And they could have watched my minutes, but he didn't want to take my chance. So, you know, RIP to the, to the guy that passed, the kid that passed away, but when I was in ninth grade, I guess he was like in seventh, but he had heart problems. He ended up passing away on the field due to heart problems in the heat. And I remember having a long talk with my family or whatever. And it was saying like, you know what I'm saying, that could have been you or whatever. So, you know, you know, God got a plan for you. And like, I'm just, I'm, I'm out of there. I'm crying because I know I'm not going to ever play football again. I'm hurt because I didn't know the guy, but, you know, he hit home. But then, on top of all of that, you know, I'm like, I ain't got no dream now. What, what do I do? Like, my dream was to play pro football. What am I going to do now? So I'm in school, depressed, gaining weight, you know, just saying to myself a lot or whatever, like, I don't know, it was just, just horrible. So, I say around 11th grade, I started hanging out with, with, with my cousin a lot, and uh, well, I always hanged out with him, but I started hanging around around the basketball court, and he was pretty good or whatever, he was on varsity or whatever, and I don't know, he just, he loved the game, he knew the game, and, you know. After a while, I just started to play a little bit. I wasn't good. I so <laughs> wasn't good at all. And I ended up, I don't know, I ended up playing a little more and more. So my senior year, I, th I just took it upon myself to say, I'm going to try out. And they may have been the craziest thing that I could have ever done. <laughs> man, so I worked out a little bit. I barely did any running. I rode a... I was on a bike thinking that's gonna get my cardio up. I'm running up and down the stairs thinking that's gonna get my cardio up. I'm not doing no long running, no miles, no sprints, nothing. That's anything to get you ready for basketball, I'm not doing it. Like, <laughs> the day of the tryouts come up, and <laughs> I just remember, it was the first thing we had to do is run the mile. Nah, mind me, I'm like 300 something pounds. And like, you know, so I'm, I'm a little nervous cause like, man, I'm, I'm not in shape for this or whatever. It's probably like 12 guys, 12 to 20 guys just trying out. So, boom, there it is. I'm, we start running. I did not finish the mile. I didn't even finish. I think I did two laps of running and I started walking. I got tired of it. And we had like, we had like 14 minutes, 14 or 15 minutes to do a mile. It only takes like six to seven minutes if you really run it. And I couldn't finish the mile. And like, you know, I knew some of the guys on varsity, like, you know, they, they in the bleachers, they laughing at me like, ah, what you doing? You can't, what you doing out there? You know you ain't gonna finish the mile. You know you can't, you know you can't hoop. And I'm like, you know, my pride hurts. So I'm mad now. I, I didn't even finish the try. I walked home, I'm walking home, I'm crying. I'm, I'm hurting, my body hurting, I'm mad. I'm upset, I can't, you know, it just hurt my feelings or whatever. So it's like, you know, it's screw basketball. But during that summer, my cousin, he got me into basketball a lot. We watching it more. I'm playing more 2K and all that stuff. So I'm just starting to love the game. I'm just loving being around basketball because I'm starting to learn how to play it. So it's more fun. So now it's orientation time. I'm in college or whatever. And uh, met this guy named Thomas. And I didn't even know U.S. downtown had a, had a gym. So it's like, you know, like, I'm just thinking, when he said the gym, I'm just saying, you know, weight room or whatever, treadmill. I'm like, oh, that's what's up. He's like, man, you trying to go hoop? 
I'm like, wait, I got a basketball court? Like, hold on, let me get Hold on, I ain't like, I ain't, I ain't bring no hooping clothes today. That that day made me start wearing like hooping clothes under my regular clothes or having the clothes in my trunk or something. <laughs> so we get in there and I don't know, man, it was just like, it was like heaven. Like, it was packed, it was competition. Everybody was in there hooping or whatever. Like, you know, it was just cool. Like, so that's what it was. I just started hooping like every single day. I would miss class to go play basketball. I would freaking be late to test days to go play basketball. Or I, I leave, I'd be there early. I'd be sweaty and stuff in class. I used to do all that kind of stuff just to hoop, man. I was like, if I didn't hoop that, like, if I didn't hoop no day, it was just like, I don't know, I would bother, it would bother me. I would be up all night, like, dang, I didn't even hoop today. Like, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to play 2K to get my little hooping drill again. Like, my hooping habits, like, just every day we hoop, every day. I would go hoop at uh, U of H downtown. Then I would go back to the uh, to my side of town and go hoop at the parks or whatever. Like, it was just crazy. I was hooping every single day if I could. Like, I wake up, and then I started, like, I didn't want to be the, the worst player on the court, so I started waking up in the morning, running at 4 o'clock, doing push-ups, sit-ups, doing all this stuff. Like, I'm on YouTube watching videos on how to do crossovers, how to do this, how to do that, like, how to dribble better with your left hand. I, I was doing everything to become a best, better basketball player. Man, also, there was this guy that I knew, in order for me to be a better basketball player, I had to be him. Like, that was it. And I remember him coming in the gym on my days of waking up early and stuff. And I would be, I don't know, like, I remember he came in the gym. And like, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm in there shooting around, I'm working on stuff or whatever, just trying to get better. And he asked me to play one-on-one. -on -one. So I ended up beating him like, we played probably like three times. I think I beat him two out of the three. And like, I remember him asking me, he was like, uh, he was like, how you play defense like that? And when he told me that, that was it. Like, I knew, I knew right there, like, basketball was everything to me. Like, <laughs> like man. Uh, I also met my boy Chase up there. And um, I don't know, I remember having a dream of playing pro basketball. And I brought it to my fiance's attention. I'm like, man, like, what do you think about me playing basketball? And she was like, that's all you do anyway. You might as well go out and try out and live your dream. You only, you know, that's when YOLO was high. You only live once, YOLO, right? <laughs> so, I was like, it was just like, oh, no, it was crazy. And then uh, I brought it to my mom, and I was like, Mom, I want to take a break from college because I really believe I have a shot of being a pro basketball player. I really want to work hard at it and just give it a shot. And uh, she was like, "No, that's not practical. I want you to. You need to. You need to go to. You need to go to school, get your education, get you a good job, so that way you can be stable when you leave my house." Like, <laughs> and I was like, you know, I was hurt because it's like, you know, you're my mom. You're supposed to believe in me. And she's like, it's not that I don't believe in you. She was like, I don't want you to get out there and you gotta come home or you got or you're struggling because I'm not gonna always be here to catch you. So I was like, you know, it makes sense. And I was like, you know what, man? Like, mama, I love you. Because this is something that was the first time I ever just disagreed with my mom all the way completely, and I just did it. And it changed my life. Like, it changed my life. And uh, 2012, I was going to try out for the D League, but I missed it because I didn't have the money in time. But me and my boy Chase, we said that we got one year to get ready, and we worked out. And I, I our game has changed dramatically. I'm like, I'm still not where I want to be. But I know it's coming, and like I don't know if you see me where I started from, and you see me now, you'll understand. So yeah, that's the beginning of me living basketball, man. Like, it came out of nowhere. Nobody ever seen it coming. I didn't see it coming. That's just let you know God always have a plan. And this may be, this may not be the journey. This may be just the path to get me to where I want to go. But right now, basketball is everything for me. And uh, you know what I'm saying, like. I'm gonna be posting videos, I'm gonna post a vlog about tryouts or whatever, like the stuff that I went through for tryouts or the stuff that I think I need to improve on or like just stuff that y'all wanna know in general, like post questions or whatever. Hit me up on my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram if you got uh, any questions or anything. I'll reply back to them. And uh, hey, it's the way to Cooper. You know what I'm saying? Hey.
like my videos, comment on them, subscribe. Okay, yeah. Hey, let's get it, man. And with all that being said, logistically one with the game. Poetically one with the work. I won't stop till I'm giving what I'm deserved. My story will be told. Poetically.